because we're going to have a little extra fun. Bam! All right, we have to at least you know, celebrate a little bit. Oh, yeah. Brittany and I, along with our wonderfully talented photographer, Ryan, have all been nominated for Emmys, and we're super excited. Yes. Yes. So we were nominated in the Outstanding Magazine Program Feature Segment category. Brittany and Ryan were nominated for this piece when Brittany took a turn as a Roanoke police officer in training. Mm -hmm. It was super fun. And then Ryan and I were nominated for our story on the D-Day Memorial. Uh, we find out if we win a statue next month, and you can see both of these stories. We'll post them to our Facebook page, but we're also going to air them on Monday because we have a best of daytime special. Yeah, on Monday. So that is so exciting. Mm -hmm. I got a text last night, and that's how I found out. How did you find out? A text. Yes. Same person. Yeah, from Don. Uh, Don and Ryan also. Okay. Yeah, Don Jeffries sent out a congratulatory yeah. text, and then Ryan told told me about our uh, our nomination. So yeah. yeah, both at the same time, I looked at, it, I was like, ah. Yeah. Don so. texted me, and I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't tease cool. me like that. Okay. So. so um, good things await us. So I am looking for some new glasses. My husband bought his glasses from an awesome company called Warby Parker. So here's how it works. You pick out five pairs of glasses that you want to try out, and then you, they ship them to you for five days. You try them on for yourself, for your friends, for social media, and then you decide which glasses you want, and then you order them. It's really as simple as that, and it's so great because, you know, you can find glasses online, and you might not like them, and... Sure. They give you all the opportunity that you need to pick the glasses that fit your face and that you really enjoy. So I got my box yesterday and I wanted to get the team's help picking out the best pair. Okay. So I thought, why not ask you guys too? Here are my top three. Um, I'll go in reverse order. I like these. Nobody else likes them. But hey, what do you think? Are they too bright? I, okay, here's why I like these because they're not really distracting on my face. They're clear, but most people aren't liking them, but this is my three. No. No? Okay. No. Don't like it. No. I don't like that one. Nope. Please. Jonathan feel, says no. Um, Jonathan's giving the thumb down oh, on that one. Guys. <sighs> okay. You're crushing uh, your feel dreams. Feel free to jump on Facebook and give us your opinion. This is the only time that I will allow your opinion on my looks if it's negative. Okay? Okay. This is my second choice. No, I like those. These are nice. Yes. These are very similar to the glasses that I have, only mine are much shorter, so they uh -huh. kind of cut off. I didn't want something that cut off my eyes. Yes. My just beautiful eyes. Yeah, okay. I like them. And then this is my, so far this is my first place, but I don't know. I feel like these ones grow on people. People like them more after I have them on for a while. <gasps> oh, hello. No, I don't Come like on. those. Sorry. <laughs> no? No, I like, the, I like the dark with your dark hair, I think. What if I do this? <laughs> no? <laughs> no? <laughs> Okay, for now I'm going to leave these on for the rest of this segment okay. so they can grow on you. Okay. But if not, if everybody likes the dark ones best, maybe we'll Let go us with know. the dark ones. Let us know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, fu it's funny because you wear contacts, right? Yeah, and my eyes need a break so bad. Yeah, I always said that if I ever needed glasses, I've never needed glasses until yeah. now. I've been having to put my readers on, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But um, I have a thing about eyeballs, as you know. Yes, you and do. And there's no way that I could put contacts in. So I always oh. thought I would just wear the glasses. And now right. they're trendy. So people are wearing glasses. So I don't, I don't feel bad about wearing my readers. Oh, so. girl, I, I have no problem. I could touch, you would hate it so much. I could touch my eye right now. Oh. Like if my contact gets messed up, oh. I can just move it around. No. No, what if, no. You get, what if you have something on your eye? What do you do? You know do? what I do? I go like this. I go right in the corner, and I just, I just work it out this way. I, I never touch my eyeball. Uh, we try and show her, like, eyeball videos. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. She doesn't uh. like it. But hmm. anyway, yeah, I like that. I think they're growing on me, but I think I like the dark ones with the dark hair. Anyway, you can... Let, Let us know. know your yes. opinion, please. Okay. Hey, National Donut Day is still a week away, but yes. already two of the nation's top donut makers are going to war over the sweet breakfast treats. I love this. Dunkin' Donuts announced it will be rolling out two new treats, the Vanilla Cake Batter Donut. Ooh. Yes. And the Dunkin' Donuts mm -hmm. Sprinkles Donut. 
Now the cake batter donut will be filled with vanilla flavored cake batter filling, yes please, <laughs> chocolate frosting and confetti sprinkles. The new sprinkle donut will be a spin on an old favorite topped with pink and orange D-shaped sprinkles. Oh. All customers will get a free classic donut with a purchase of a drink. Yeah, but don't count Krispy Kreme out. They're going one step above offering one free donut from the entire menu of dozens. And get this, no purchase necessary. So start planning which deal you're going to take as National Donut Day is next Friday, June 2nd. All right. It's a win-win. It's you know? a win-win. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, losing a tooth can be an exciting and scary moment in a child's life. So these parents decided to record the moment. I love this so much. Okay, so let's set up the scene for you. Yeah. They tied their son's tooth to the door, and then you close the door, and then the tooth falls out, right? Yes. Uh -huh. That I have been, you know, as a little kid, I remember my mom suggesting, we should do that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Okay, but... Right before they were going to do this, he got a little scared, and the unexpected happened. Take a look. There's only one more little string left. Listen. As soon as we close this door, it's going to go ping, and it'll be done. We'll have ice cream, we'll have candies, we'll have movies, everything. Okay? Oh, it's so ready to come It out, is. Quinn. It's ready. It's one more little drop. Oh, okay? On. Be brave. Okay, you... <laughs> Boom, uh, you baby! know what? The little brother was sick little and tired brother, of the drama. Be quiet. This is a lot of drama for a little tooth. Let's just knock this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was happy. This just happened to my daughter. I was sitting there on um, a chair in the living room, and she had this tooth that was just dangling, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, Mom, I can even turn it and twist it. And then all of a sudden, it just fell. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, okay, there you, well, have it. There you go. It's Easy done. enough. Mm -hmm.